Good day, folks. Mean Joe Green here. Um, I'm quite content to announce that I have hit uh, the 200, su 200 subscriber mark, and that I cannot pronounce 200 on my first try. Um, so I really just want to say thank you to you guys, and it is absolutely amazing that in I think I uploaded my 100 subscriber celebration video in February, and I think I hit my 100 subscriber mark around Christmas, maybe December, maybe January. I uploaded the 100 the uh, montage in February, January. I can't remember, and uh, it is just awesome how in a couple of months. Uh, three, two to three months, my channel has grown by a hundred subscribers, which is gigantic for me, and, uh, you know, I really appreciate uh, you guys' support, especially of the, my, uh, loyal fans who, you know, comment on every video, uh, you know, they answer my Your Take Tuesday questions often, I really appreciate, appreciate you guys, um, the most and you know it sounds wrong that I'm putting other people ahead of you know other subscribers I appreciate every one of my subscribers but you know when there's active subscribers I'm not saying you have to comment on every video but you know you've got to give the active the really active subscribers special recognition I feel so thank you guys for 200 subscribers um, for my 200 subscriber thank you video I'm gonna put up a video of my fours of for drifting garage or garage in general so that will be up sometime this week and um, without further ado let's get started with your take Tuesday which this week it's a very simple question what is your favorite motorsport and of course why um, some people may already know but my favorite motorsport is rally I'm a big fan of the dirt games um, and rally in general, although it's very difficult to follow in the United States, or just in general, it's a, it's a hard spectator sport. Um, I love it. I just absolutely love rally. I love how the people are taking a really powerful car, or a really quick car, sending it through the woods at ridiculous, like, highway speeds. Highway speeds through a dirt path in an undeveloped part of a country, or just in a part that nature still owns, through this narrow trail where there where there's things that can kill you on either side of you if you hit them, and I just find that amazing. Combined with all the cornering and the hairpins and the, I just the whole off-road aspect is really it adds a unique twist that really. To put it basically, you won't get anywhere, and you won't get in any other motorsport. You can't. Um, you know, rally be in general being uh, events from the World Rally Championship to the Dakar to the Baja 1000. You don't get point to point, you know, racing like this. This is about setting down a fast time, and uh, it is just insane. It's a lot of, you know, the cornering. It's it's a fun sport. I guess it's hard to spectate since you can only watch little parts of a rally at a time, but when you go back and watch little clips of it all put together, it, it really is something what these drivers are doing. And, you know, whereas like in Formula One or uh, American Le Mans or DTM or touring car racing, any other touring car racing, um, it's basically, you know, the only thing that's different about the racing is from a, view, from a spectator's viewpoint is you know the the cars being driven and the way you drive them of course you have to attack it's a whole different animal when you get in a formula one car versus an indy car or a dtm car but you're on a track and you're going around corners and you're racing against people whereas rally you you don't get anything quite like it you slam into the tires no but uh you're on there's no other motorsport that can that is that is not rally that is close to rally I guess unless you want to get really technical I can't even name anything in specific but about you there's some obscure motorsport that someone can name but and uh, I love what it has done to cars you know the group B days were fantastic you got 
car is like no others. You get the Ford RS200. If you look at that thing, it's just this mid-engine four-wheel drive supercar designed specifically for rally. That's how big rally was back in those Group B days. And um, it kind of stinks that it's kind of dwindled down a bit. There's not as many manufacturers. There's actually only two, um, Ford and Citroen. But I feel if there were a time, or just the really the World Rally Championship in general, if there are a time for uh, all, all, a lot of the car manufacturers to get into rallying, I think now would be the time, seeing as Econo cars, or Econo boxes, is, uh, people who like to wear wife beaters and backwards hats that believe in no replacement for displacement will often say, um, you know, those, you got uh, cars like the... Citroen DS3, you got the Fiesta, Cooper, Clubman, the, you know, the Polo, and soon possibly the Yaris. Now is the time for these car manufacturers to get into this. And you got Rallycross, you got Hyundai and Rallycross, Subaru, Mitsubishi, Dodge is entering Rallycross. You got all these manufacturers because displacement is going down and now a lot of now low disp displacement high power cars are becoming more popular. And that's just what Rally needs, you know? So, that's what I like Rally because I like the unique aspect it adds to cars, their four wheel drive. I like, um, this car has Rally lights on it actually. I like, um, uh, what, uh, I just like the racing. I love the off road racing and everything. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching and thanks again for 200 subscribers. Peace.